and welcome to A Head Full of Tales. And today's story is called Cinderella. Now, once a very long time ago, there was a palace on top of a big hill. And in that palace, there lived a king. And he was married to a queen. And they had a son who was very handsome. So handsome, in fact, they named him Prince Charming. Oh, and he was kind and he was generous and he was very, very good looking. All oh, the princes all over the kingdoms would like to marry him. And that was the problem. He didn't really want to get married. Well, not yet anyway. He hadn't found the right person. Well, the king called him in one day. Prince Charming! Suddenly, Prince Charming arrived in the Great Hall. You called, Your Majesty? Yes, um, there's something I need to say. You've had plenty of time to find a wife, but you haven't found anybody yet. No, 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 not yet. Um, I can't find the right princess. Well, I'm going to solve that, aren't we? Yes, said the Queen. We are going to solve it. We're going to throw a party for you. A big ball, in fact. Oh, it, it's going to be very, very grand. Oh, and all, all the women from this entire kingdom and all over the world are coming. And if you can't find a wife then, well, I'm going to pick one for you. Oops. Mm. Gulped Prince Charming as he went back to his bedroom and sighed. Oh, I'm not going to find anybody I like. All the princesses just care about makeup and being rich. They're not interested in football or, or gardening or reading books or going to the theatre. I'm not going to find anybody who thinks like me. And that would have been the case if it wasn't for a very special person who lived in the village. Now, her name, as we all know, is Cinderella. Now, she had to look after her father, who was a very kind, but a bit of a scaredy cat, and uh, her two stepsisters. Oh, they were mean to her. And they were ugly. <sighs> really ugly. I mean, like Gertrude, she was short and squat. Oh, Cinderella, I want some porridge. And Brenda, she was tall and thin. Oh, Cinderella, Cinderella. I need my wig done now. Cinderella, where's my false teeth? Cinderella, I can't walk around like this. And Cinderella would spend the day looking after him. She would clean the kitchen, clean the bathroom. She would sort of clean all the floors in the house, clean all the windows. And in the middle of the day, she had to go and collect firewood. And then she'd have to light all the fires. Now, it was on one of these particular days, while she was collecting firewood, that she came across a dear old lady. Oh, oh my back. Oh, oh, it's so, oh, it's so heavy. Oh, no, what's the matter? Well, I'm bending down to pick up these few sticks I've got. And I, I need to get a few more, but I can't carry these. Well, uh, I tell you what, I've been collecting sticks as well. Um, would these be enough? Oh, oh dear, that'd be lovely. Oh, would you mind? Oh, I'm young. I can collect sticks any time. And with that, she picked up the old lady's sticks and her own and walked her back to a little cottage. Oh, thank you, dear. Thank you. That's no problem. Just leave them by the gate and uh, I will... Uh, I'll get them in from here. I can take them in for you. Oh, no, that's problem. No problem. I'll do that one at a time. And Cinderella turned around and off to go. But when she turned back quickly to wave goodbye, the sticks and the old lady had gone. Oh, she thought. She does move fast when she wants to. <laughs> and laughed and went back to collecting sticks for the fire in the house. When she got home, she made dinner for Gertrude and <sighs> Brenda, and they uh, they scoffed their food down. <laughs> oh, this is 
horrible, but I'll eat it anyway. Oh dear, I've never tasted anything so dreadful in my life, Cinderella. You must learn to cook. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is, mm, mm, this is terrible. Oh, you must be able to cook better than this. She, they both said, stuffing their faces. <laughs> right, is our baths ready? Yes, said Cinderella. But just before they went up to have a bath, there was a knock at the door. Knock, 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 knock. <coughs> Hello, I'm the postman. I have some letters here from the king and queen of this fair land. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> and uh, Cinderella was handed three letters. One of the letters had her name on it. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so elegant. Look how well they've written the writing. A letter to me from the Queen. Cinderella, what you got there? Said Gertrude. Oh, I've got a letter from the King and Queen. What about us? Yes, what about us? Here you go. There's yours, Brenda. There's yours, Gertrude. Wow. They both, they all opened their, the, uh, the letters rather quickly. <sighs> and opened them and read the, uh, the invitation. You are invited to the king's palace. For there will be a grand ball to find the right lady to marry Prince Charming. Yours sincerely, the king. P.S. The queen sends her love. Wow. There was much excitement in the house. <gasps> oh, what are we going to wear? What are we going to do? Yes, I don't know. I'm going to have to have my whole face plucked. Mm, especially my moustache. Yes, yes. That's what I have to do with Cinderella. And Cinderella was just staring at her invitation with a big smile on her face. And that's when the ugly sisters noticed her. Cinderella, what are you looking at? Yes, Cinderella. What have you got there? I've got an invitation too. Mmm. <laughs> the ugly six sisters looked her up and down. Do you think you should go to the ball dressing like that? Well, well I'll have to. I, I've got, got nothing else to wear. Exactly. You, you can't go and see the king and the queen and the prince charming dressed like that. No, Cinderella, no. You better rip it up. What? You better rip up your invitation. Yes, go on, Cinderella. Rip up your invitation. Uh, I don't. I don't want to rip up my invitation. Go on, Cinderella. Rip up your invitation. <laughs> go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. And they pushed her and they shoved her and she <laughs> she jostled and she wasn't going to rip it up. And then all of a sudden, they looked really angry and came closer to her and said, Rip it up. Go on, Cinderella, rip up your invitation. And Cinderella was so scared, she ripped the invitation in half. Shh. More. And again. Shh. More. Shh. And again. More. Shh. Go on, Cinderella, rip it up into lots and millions of pieces. And she ripped and she ripped and she ripped. And by the end of it, she just had a table full of confetti. Millions of pieces of a beautiful invitation. And of such lovely handwriting. Right, Cinderella, we've got a week and we have to prepare. So you better go start making our dresses and doing our hair and making our makeup. Oh, lots of things planned for you, Cinderella. And make sure the house is clean. And with that, they went to have the bath and went to bed. Cinderella sat on the table, sulking. A little mouse came by and brought her a bit of cheese. Thank you, she said, utterly depressed. So the week went past and Cinderella made dresses. She got the concrete ready for the makeup. Oh, she painted toenails. She combed wigs. She even decorated some false teeth. And by the end of it, the ugly sisters were looking almost attractive. The big night of the ball came 
And the sisters were ever so excited. <laughs> oh, Cinderella! Oh, it's going to be wonderful! Oh, and the prince will marry me! And then we'll live happily ever after in the big palace on the hill! The big palace on the hill! Can you believe it? Oh, yeah, no, 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 sister. Oh, no, no, Prince Charming will fall for my good looks, won't he? Oh, yes, because I'm beautiful, I am. Yes. Yes, sisters, you're, one of you will marry him, I'm sure, Cinderella said just to keep the peace. So the two ugly sisters went off to the big palace on the hill and Cinderella was left back in the kitchen and she cried. <laughs> <laughs> and she started to clean up and she fixed the fire and got herself a nice cup of tea. When suddenly there was a knock on the door. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Cinderella opened it. Mm -hmm. And there was the old lady she helped with the sticks. Hello, dear. How are you? Oh, oh, I'm all right. I'm just making some tea. Would you like some? Oh, no, no, sir. I'm, sir no, 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 Cinderella. I'm far too busy. Um, I've got lots of people to see. And um, you're on my list. On, my, on your list? Yes, yes. I'm a fairy godmother. And with that, she took a wand from her, uh, her sleeve and bing! Wow! And there in front of her stood a beautiful fairy godmother, all in pink. Oh, hello, dear. Wow, you're beautiful. So are you, Cinderella. Yes, but I'm a bit grubby. Look, I've just been cleaning the fireplace and cleaning the house and I'm a mess. Yes, but um, aren't you supposed to be going somewhere today, dear? Oh, Cinderella, <laughs> fairy godmother. I was supposed to be going to the big ball on the hill, but... I'm afraid my um, invitation got um, destroyed in an accident. An accident, dear? I don't think that happened to you. No. no. Well, not really. No, no. Did the big ugly sisters, did they, um, did they pick on you? Yes, they did. And, um, but I can't go to the ball now anyway, can I? And the fairy godmother went, oh, yes, you can, dear. For I can make your dreams come true. Just at that point. A mouse scuttled across the tablecloth, uh, bringing more cheese for Cinderella, holding it up in the air. Oh, said the fairy godmother, just what we need. And she picked him up by the scruff of the neck and she took him outside, right next to a pumpkin. Mm. We're also going to need a, a uh, coach and horseman. So we've got the horse. Where's the coachman? Uh, ah, prrr, prrr, prrr. the cat was a... Uh, purring around her feet. So she put him just next to the pumpkin. She waved her magic wand. Bing! <gasps> and Cinderella couldn't believe her eyes. In front of her, in front of her was a big pumpkin carriage. But it wasn't a pumpkin anymore. It was gold and ornate. It was beautiful. And the mice had turned into a big white horse. And the cat, all dressed up perfectly, was a coachman. Good day, your lady, said the cat, lifting up his hat, who was now a very uh, good-looking man for a cat who had been turned into a man. Ooh, oh, that's wonderful. Well, that's how I'm going to get there, but <laughs> fairy godmother, thank you so much, but I can't go like this. Look at me. I look a mess. Don't worry about that, dear. And she took her magic wand. And she waved it, and stars seemed to fall down from the sky and sprinkle all over her. And then she was in a beautiful, shimmering silver gown, so beautiful, so elegant. She looked like a crystal. Oh, that's what we'll call you, said the fairy godmother. We'll call you Princess Crystal. But my name's Cinderella. Don't worry, dear. It'll all sort itself out in the wash. Oh, and then Cinderella was just about to step into the coach. Oh, dear, dear. No, 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 no. What's the matter? <laughs> you can't go to the ball in bare feet. But I haven't got any shoes. Don't worry. And again, she waved her magic wand. Ding! And on Cinderella's feet were glass slippers. <gasps> crystal for crystal, said the fairy godmother. And off the coach went into the distance 
and Cinderella could just hear a faint shout in the bass distance. Cinderella, remember, be back by midnight. Okay, fairy godmother, Cinderella shouted, waving out the window, so excited. And she looked into her purse, which was part of the dress, and inside there was a new invitation. Now, the coach went up the big hill all the way to the palace. The big drawbridge dropped down and the coach went in. The coachman let Cinderella out and she went into the ground hallway. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for Prince S. Crystal. Prince Charming was just dancing in the corner with one of an, another princess who he's totally bored with, who just been talking about YouTube and how she sort of um, managed to get 12,000 describers that day. Ah, oh, when he looked around on hearing Princess Crystal. Wow, he thought, she's beautiful. Ah, oh, and as she walked down the stairwell, he went to meet her, because he had to greet every princess that arrived. Uh, hello, um, my name is Prince Charming. How do you do? Oh, hello, I'm um, uh, Prince Crystal. You, you look very, uh, very handsome today, if you don't mind me saying, said uh, Cinderella. Yes, it's just something I threw on. <laughs> and at that moment, they hit it off. They were like best friends. They started talking about football and uh, theatre and the books they had read and uh, what their favourite food was. And they both loved ice cream and marmalade. Not together, separate times, of course. And then, uh, excuse me, uh, would you like to dance? And when they danced, it was like magic. They sort of moved around the dance floor like they were one. In fact, so hypnotising it was, everybody stopped what they were doing. They couldn't believe it. For some reason, they had fallen in love. It was fan it was, it was an incredible sight to behold. Well, the ugly sisters, you can imagine. Well, they just sat in the corner. Mm. Oh, what does he see in her? Oh, yes, I don't know. She's terribly ugly. Well... That night was perfect, and it would have gone on forever if suddenly there wasn't a dong, 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 dong. Now, it was the sixth dong, dong when Cinderella suddenly realised what it meant. Oh no, what time is it? She looked up, another clock was just about to strike twelve. Oh dear, I'm ever so sorry, Your Highness, I'm going to have to go. And with that, she ran for the door, vroom, 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 out of the grand hall, down the staircase, and she went to get back into her carriage, but it was back to a pumpkin, a mouse and a cat. Oh no! And she, she kept running, her shoe had fallen off down the stairs, and as she ran into the woods, down the hill, suddenly all her clothes was turned to rags. Oh! Now the prince was in such a shock when this happened, he just stood there. Everybody just stood there. Oh, well, what happened? I don't know what happened. Well, did you see what happened? I don't know, it just disappeared. Yes, I just saw that, it just disappeared. Well, what are we going to do? Um, so the prince chased after her and he got to the stairs, but she wasn't anywhere to be seen. All there was, was a silver slipper. Oh dear, this is made of glass. Wow, silvery glass, amazing. Such a dainty foot. And then an idea came into the prince's head. Whoever this shoes fits, I shall marry, said Prince Charming. Right, said the king. Um, okay, let's get that organised. And so for many years, well, not many years, many days and weeks after that, the prince rode around the kingdom, trying on shoes of different people. He went to Scotland and Wales and Ireland. Nobody had heard of Prince Crystal. Oh, and nobody fitted the slipper. Now, he came back to his own town and he finished off looking round the towns and he saw a little house which he hadn't been to before. Hmm, right, I wonder who lives here? Knock, knock, 
The door opened. Oh, oh, your prince. Welcome. Come in, come in. Gertrude and Brenda are here to see you. What? <clears throat> They dragged in the prince. Yes, um, thank you. Yes. <laughs> nice to meet you two again. Yes. Oh, do you want us to try on this slipper, princey? No, 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 thank you. I, I, I know who you are. <laughs> no, 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 no. Before this, Cinderella was sort of uh, outside and uh, they saw her in the corner of her eye. Ooh. And Gertrude slipped outside. Cinderella? Mm -hmm. There's something you need to see here. And she opened the coal scuttle door and pushed her in and locked it and went back in to see the prince. Just as Gertrude was trying on the slipper, it wasn't fitting at all. Oh, it's not going to fit, is it? Brenda said, Brenda, I want to have a go, said Brenda. Oh, it's me, 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 it fit me. And she put on the foot. Princey sat down, lifted up. Good, uh, Brenda's foot. <coughs> but it fit. Uh-oh. Thought the prince. And he stood up. And as he stood up, the leg came with it. <sighs> Brenda had found a false leg and was pretending it was her real leg. The prince was quite annoyed. You two, stop messing about. I've looked everywhere, all over the town, wheels and all that. Suddenly, the cat came in. Meow. Meow. Shoe cat, said the prince. Meow, meow. Shoe cat, said the prince. Meow. And the cat was so determined that the prince followed him. All right then, pussy, tell me where you want to go. And he came to the coal shed. It was locked. <clears throat> this is locked. Oh, no, there's nothing in there. There was a banging from inside. Boom, boom, let me out, let me out. The prince drew his sword and he chopped at the lock. Chop, ching. The lock broke in two and he opened it up. And there was a young lady all dressed in rags with soot all over her face. But she was very beautiful and the prince seemed to recognize her. Um. Excuse me, he said to Princess uh, to Cinderella as, she, as he sat her down on a log. I need to try something on. And he took the golden slipper, no, the, uh, the glass slipper. I get my shoes confused. And he put it on the feet of Cinderella and it fit. Not only that, all her rags turned back into the silver and glassy, crystally dress. I found you at last, said Prince Charming. And your two horrible sisters are very, very mean. I should have them arrested now. No, 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 no. Please don't do that. They are my sisters. Oh, oh, thank you, Cinderella. Oh, yes. Uh, of, uh, oh, yes. Uh, thank you, Cinderella, said Bert, uh, said Brenda and Gertrude. All right, then. Now. Cinderella, he said, getting down on one knee, would you marry me? Well, only after some dating first, but I think we get on so well, I think it will end up in marriage. <laughs> and it did. And the king was very happy with Cinderella. She was the perfect queen. Well, she will be in the future. And as for the ugly sisters, well, they were made to be the cleaners in the car palace. They had to clean the toilets and um, sort of make sure that the pigsties were all fed. Oh, they didn't have a very happy time for a long time until they learnt the errors of their ways. And they did eventually. And Cinderella was so kind to them that it wasn't long before they were just one big happy family. I hope you enjoyed today's story and I see you later. Bye bye.